What's going on is Double Up, and I'm the original professional dunker. The Double Up, man, there it is. I mean, I'm the creator. That would probably be my signature. And it's spread across the world. It's wildfire, and everybody, everybody's on it. You're not even able to be a dunker anymore unless you've accomplished the Double Up. I never really just came out to dunk. I always came out to play, so man, I just happened to come out with some freakish abilities in the dunking category. I'm an analyzer, so I sat back and I watched. From the beginning, it was my papa, freakish athlete. He would jump out of the gym. He's about 6'1". I'm only 5'8 and 3 quarters. We call it 5'9", though. I just wanted to be like him for the most part, and basketball just happened to be a part of who he was, so I picked it up and wanted to be the best at it. Luckily for me, it happened. My earliest dunk memory, I'd say, is a Christmas tournament, ninth grade. I blocked somebody, and my arm was about that far over the rim. And everybody's like, man, you could have blocked that and dunked it. So I said, all right, I'm going to steal it, and I'm going to try and dunk it next time, because we was up so much. Stole it, came down, got my first dunk. I felt great, but I was shocked. And so was the gym, because I heard nothing but silence. There was no applause or nothing. Everybody was just like, what the hell just happened, you know? So yeah, that's got to be my top, top moment for sure. So the craziest dunk that I said I've done, it would be the 720 with two hands. I mean, it's just crazy, man. In itself, just saying it is, doesn't seem like it should be a thing. But, you know, I've laid it down a few times and, you know, hopefully we'll get it on camera here soon. Well, the imagination and the process, for the most part, come from Chuck. I heard about a kid that was like 17 years old that was jumping out the gym. I was like, hey man, can I fly you out here? I just want to film you dunking. He's like, are you serious? You just want to film me dunking? Yeah, I've never to this day seen anybody like him when it comes to dunking basketball. He's one of a kind. You know, we uh, get in the gym and uh, I got up really high on the, on the through the legs dunk and he's like, a real person could have actually been under you. So we put my brother under there, he held the ball, went through the legs over him and the rest is history. Uploaded a video of his to YouTube and like immediately the dunk revolution was started. I don't do any dunk training or anything. Uh, I play basketball. All of my dunks usually happen in games, and you know, afterward, I'll show out or try a couple few things before I leave the gym. But other than that, you know, it's all it's all basketball, man. I, I really play the game. When Chuck came with a YouTube contract, that got my gears going, and I'm like, okay, this could really make some money, you know what I'm saying? But I, I never really thought it could be anything serious till uh, it was. So I've been to uh, Bali, London, South America a few times all around China, had a tour with professors. That was that, you know, I didn't really uh, think about it too much. I just kept going on with it, man. Sprite dunk contest in Atlanta, one of the most amazing dunk contests ever, where I had to face off against all of the legends who have ever existed in the dunk game. I got a chance to show out and came out on top. Really, it hasn't been no dunkers who inspired me. It's always been players, Sean Kemp, Dr. J. He's one of the truest people I've ever met, you know, and I definitely stole some abilities from Dominique Wilkins. I've studied him a lot, too. Jericho Sims, she was playing for the New York Knicks last year. Jericho Sims is going to be a guy that you want to keep your eyes on. And obviously, Anthony Edwards, John Morant is doing some outlandish things. So that's the three I would probably go with right now. I think it holds whatever I can imagine it to be. Whatever comes to my mind, whatever I want to create, I believe that reality is going to exist. Right now, I just bought 20 acres out here in Utah, and I'm planning on putting together a huge basketball facility. I think that's going to be a starter kit to something real amazing. Thanks for watching my episode of Dunk Diaries. Shout out to Wessel and Team Flight Brothers. Make sure you subscribe to both channels. Click to see more episodes around here somewhere. So find me on Instagram at Double Up Inc. I N K.